Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a major train show haul. So, uh, this is the train show in Edison, New Jersey. It is one of the largest train shows I've seen. Um, you know, big train shows are ones that go from, come from trainshow.com. Those train shows are usually huge. Again, trainshow.com, those train shows are usually really big. Um, they have a ticket fee and, um, you know, as a result, they have a ticket fee and they also, um, take out huge expo centers for these kind of things and um, this one was next to new york and it used to be it's one of the few that are actually uh, next to new york like there's for example there's three in pennsylvania there's one in delaware those are the ones i usually go to but new york is rather far away and i'm sure there's a lot of modelers in new york this being the only one the only major one that they have of course it was very large and this one definitely did not disappoint um well actually it kind of did disappoint but uh let me get into that so um yeah we're going to get to this engine for last. We're going to go from this side to that side because I figured that's more interesting. Um, and we're just going to go through basically what I bought. So, um, there was, so to summarize, because the train shows are really, this kind of train show is really big. It's not one of those local small ones. Um, most people who go there, most sellers who go there are trying to look for a profit. And as a result, a lot of things are new. Um, there's not many used items. And as a result, everything's really, really expensive. Um, it's targeted more for kids and trying to get, trying to, I got, I'm going to say scam, although I don't know if that's a good word or not, but kind of scam new people into buying really expensive, overpriced new shit um, instead of the, new, the old stuff, which is honestly significantly cheaper and, as we'll see here, saves you a lot of money. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Um, everything I got here is used. Um, yeah, everything I got here is used, pretty much. Some of them is, well, I guess this stuff is new, but it's still, it's really old. So, anyways, um, yeah. First off, we have this entire set here. I'm just going to kind of categorize this into one because I basically paid $21 for all this. $21 for a looks what seems to be a brand new decal set for Pennsylvania Pullman. Um, an operating Tyco uh, log car. I, I always like these things. They're, I know they're gimmicky. I know it's a toy. I just like collecting those toys. I think they're kind of funny. And they're really cheap. Um, they usually go for about 5 bucks. And yeah. Anyway, so those two... Uh, this operating, uh, red-green, um, signal, I don't know what this is called, but just a signal, standard signal bridge, um, and also this alternate kind, which looks like search size signals, um, one of them is red, one of them is green. Um, I got these because I don't do signals on my layout, but these are so cheap. I mean, 21 bucks for this entire lot here. That's really freaking cheap, so I figured I'd toss them in because I thought they were kind of interesting, although I'll never use them on my layout, because again, I, by the time, at my era, my layout didn't have signals. Um, and also these signals are the really cheap um, model power kind. So they're not really anything fancy. They look like toys more like, honestly. But I think they're cool. Anyways, then I saw this little, um, you know, microengineering 30-foot open deck girder bridge. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's toss it into the lot. And then lastly, we have three of these cars. Um, these are all River Aussie cars. Um, they're obviously used and they're slightly damaged. But um, they try to protect it with some uh, plastic wrap. So this is a baggage car. Um, this is an observation car. This one didn't have any packaging, so it's, got, it's definitely more scuffled. Um, and this last one here is a baggage car, also wrapped. Um, I don't know how much protection the plastic grab actually does, but these seem to be in okay condition. So, yeah. Um, so as I said, this entire thing was 21 bucks. That's very reasonable if you think about it. I mean, 21 bucks can got, buy you, like, one River Alcy passenger car, um, if they're new, you know. So, and three, three of them plus all this stuff for 21 bucks is very solid. Next up, and this is probably the best deal yet, is these cars. Not the ones below here, but these 10. Um, these 10 cars were just all in a huge box. Um, I'm honestly surprised they're not as damaged as... Um, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that they came out as in good condition as they currently are, because it was just tossed around in a box, and uh, yeah. The entire box was basically uh, choose two for a dollar. So I paid five bucks for 10 cars here, and I chose the best of the lot. So, um, for example, these cars, I believe, are from uh, Acura. You can see, like, the really fine, uh, relatively fine uh, grab iron or uh, pickup pick shoes. Or pickup shoes? Whatever you call them. Stir stirrup steps, sorry. Um, as opposed to, you can see, like, this is an older Ather and Blue Box kind. This is very thick and chunky. I tossed this because I couldn't think, I couldn't see anything else. I was okay. But I, so I took that. But you can see, like, these three cars are, yeah, these two cars are significantly more detailed than the others. This could either be Acura or Atlas. I don't really know yet. But they're very nice. Uh, metal wheels, KD coupler, KD coupler, yeah, KD couplers. Um, again, two for a dollar. It's crazy. Um, this was, uh, this looks like an older Ather and Blue Box car. Uh, KD couplers, but plastic wheels. Um, this one has, 
I can't tell if that's plastic or metal, but KD couplers. Um, this one also can't tell. These look like they're metal wheels. These also look like they're metal wheels. So metal wheels and KD couplers. Think about it. KD couplers cost like $2 for a pair. I'm paying 50 cents for the entire car with KD couplers and metal wheels. That is an absolute steal. I'm paying 50 cents for two KD couplers, four metal wheels, and a car. Like, this is ridiculously cheap. I should have bought the entire box. But anyways, um, I basically just took the cars that first off looked nice, but in hindsight, I could have just taken all the cars that had metal wheels and KD couplers because I would have actually made money that way. Um, but anyways, I only took the cars that I actually felt like I could use. In other words, a lot of hoppers and gondolas. There was no box cars that were in good condition, so... I don't have any here. Uh, this is another Atherin. So the so yeah, these three are all. I, I don't know what this one is actually. This one looks kind of strange, but these these three are at least uh, Atherin blue box. So they're not worth that much. This one has plastic wheels. Yeah, this one has plastic wheels and plastic couplers. So this is definitely a downgrade. But anyways, yeah, I thought an eerie hopper would look cool. And then I got uh, three gondolas here. Um, this one has a metal bottom. This one also has a metal bottom. And then these these two are very cheap. These are River Rossi. I don't know what those two are. I assume they're like Varney or Mintu or something like that. Uh, this one's definitely Varney, I believe. Actually, I don't really know. Anyways, yeah, there's just like generic gondolas. Um, you know that I went for the ones with the screw-on uh, trucks instead of these pins or or the um, or the uh, clip-on trucks like these. These trucks you should avoid usually. Um, when you when you buy used cars, the first thing the one the go-to thing I always look at look for is the startup steps. If you see broken startup steps, you mean it means it's in poor condition. But I basically looked looked for ones that had a good paint scheme. Um, no clip on trucks this one does but this is i bought this for example um or as an ex to show in as example but yeah you don't want the clip on trucks you do, you ideally want uh, all the stirrup steps to be in good condition and you want to look for metal wheels and kitty covers and such um but yeah so these these are definitely less I will have less value than these two. These are definitely by far the best value. Metal wheels, metal uh, couplers, and like such nice cars overall. Um, and then the gondolas, but they were cheap. Again, a dollar for her. Like, you know, these are horn hook couplers and plastic wheels, but still, they were, they were 50 cents. You know, screw it. I just basically just took out whatever thing, well, yeah, whatever I thought I could actually use in my layout. Okay, so that's it for uh, these cars and up. So now we look at these cars and below. Um, these cars, I each paid five bucks. I paid, I bought them from two different sellers. Um, so I don't know which ones came from which, but they were all five bucks each. Now, five bucks each is the normal selling price for a car with plastic wheels and plastic couplers, like an other blue box car. There were so many cheap cars like that that I literally couldn't, I couldn't buy them. You know, I was like, I was like, all right, I'm going to look for the best, the best deal I can get for five bucks a piece. And these were the cars that I got for five bucks a piece that I thought were the best deal. Um, so we have, my phone's about to die. My phone battery's about to die. So let's plug this thing in real quick. Yeah, so these were the by far the best deals I could find for five bucks, uh, five bucks a piece. These cars all have separately applied grab irons like these. You see that separately applied grabs. Uh, the ladders are separate. KD couplers and metal wheels, of course, and some underbody details. So this thing is amazing. I don't know who makes this. It looks like branch line. I'm not really sure. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though. This one is another uh, boxcar with the separately applied, you know, details and such. Uh, this one does look like it is molded on um, ladders and uh, grabs, but that's okay. Um, again, this, this thing looks pristine, basically, and I like the separately applied, you know, underbody detail, I guess. Um, metal wheels and couplers, of course. This one has separately applied uh, ladders, as you can see, and grab irons, and the bottom is also very, very detailed. I, this is, I think this is an intermountain car. Um, there's one little, one bent stirrup step, as you can see there, but um, otherwise, this thing is, you know, again, metal wheels and couplers, so great deal. Um, some of them are missing couplers, but that's honestly fine. That's not hard to fix. <laughs> I have a lot of KD couplers. Uh, this is by Walders Proto. You can see the separately applied grab irons again. This is a very detailed car. I actually saw three more of these, but I was like, these are kind of out of my out of my era, so I only bought one. Um, but yeah, there was there was a total of four of them, and I took only I only bought one, uh, which is unfortunate. But anyways, yeah, these look really nice. I I really like the really you know, uh, vivid oxide red. Um, but yeah, these are really detailed cars again. Um, these two are less detailed. They're just the um, pacemaker cars, which are which are rather actually rather rare. Um, so these being the Wallace ones especially. Uh, these are pacemaker cars, as I said, and this paint scheme is rather expensive, or rather rare to find and expensive. New York Central, as you didn't know, had, had a lot of them. And uh, yeah, one interesting thing I thought I thought I saw this was uh, I was talking to the seller. I was like, what the heck is making, you know, what the heck is in the weight? Because it's so heavy. And turns out, for some reason, and he didn't, he, 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 he confirmed it later, the original owner used bullets. <laughs> Literal, like, gun bullets 
to weight the cars, which is hilarious to me. Because a bullet should be much more expensive than just buying, like, nuts or, or, you know, metal nuts or screws at the Home Depot and just tossing them into the cars. They used physical, like, copper bullets on these things, which is crazy. This weight, obviously, is loose. So I need to glue that. But I thought that was fascinating. And same thing, with, same thing with this. This is also a bullet, as you can see, inside the car to weight it down. It's hilarious. I don't know why they would do that. But anyways, yeah, these cars are just standard uh, Walters cars. They're not very detailed. You could tell they're Walters cars by the... Um, tan underbody molded plastic um but at least have no you know no separate grabs or anything like that but again the pacemaker cars generally are more expensive because of the paint scheme and these wallers ones are pretty nice um and then lastly are these two gondolas and these two gondolas are so detailed i've never i don't actually don't know who makes these because they're so nice so obviously the standard uh, metal couplers are metal couplers and wheels this one's missing one but that's okay uh, metal wheels uh the bottom is obviously has the separately applied piping um there is separately applied grab irons or handrails or whatever you want to call them this one that seems to be missing a, a a brake wheel but that's okay um and then look at this look at this they actually use laser cut um or yeah laser cut wood um they actually added the laser cut wood um inside detailing which is insane i mean that's that must cost at least like five or ten bucks to add that um and that's crazy and the other one also has it too by the way I don't know who makes these, and if anyone knows, please let me know, because that looks really nice, and I want to do that with my other gondolas. Um, and these are also very, very heavy. I feel like, the, yeah, the entire underframe is, is metal. It's just painted metal. It's really nicely done. I don't know who makes these. I think the the car, I think, is made by um, Walther's uh, Proto 2000s, because it has a similar plastic handrails as this. But the inside, I don't know who makes that, but that's really, really cool. Um, yeah, so that's it for the cars. Um, as you can see... The $5 cars are amazing value, and then these are even better value, and this is okay value, but I just I was just kind of looking around. I was like, these, these look fun. I don't know. I guess I'll buy them. Anyways, that's it so far. Next, we're going to move on to here. I bought this um, a whole bunch of just, like, random plastic drums and stuff like that. These are actually, like, super useful in your layout, and if you can find them for cheap, in this case, it was a dollar, um, it's super useful. Actually, I paid 21 bucks for this so this is included in the 21 dollars uh, but anyway this is just a whole bunch of you know random detail parts and these are actually very valuable very useful in the layout if you ever find these for cheap always go for them because they're always useful um next up we found i found these three motors these motors are five bucks a piece um it's crazy to think that the motor is the same price as one of these cars but these are super high quality motors uh first off this is a canon dn22 motor which are very hard to find and usually cost about 10 maybe 20 bucks per motor um and this thing is super nice this is five bucks as i said um, and then these two, these two are the same. Uh, these two are coreless motors. These things are Swiss made Maxon coreless motors. They are super duper nice. Um, coreless motors is a whole topic in itself. I know that Sam Strains for some reason don't like coreless motors, even though the reason he doesn't like them is because the, mo the engines that he buys with coreless motors use really cheap Chinese made coreless motors, whereas these are Swiss made proper, really high quality motors. And if you need proof, you should go look at Darth Santa Fe's YouTube channel. He does, he specializes in remotoring and mechanism work. And he uses a lot of cordless motors. And these are amazing. He spends like 50 bucks to buy cordless motors just to put in his engines. And they're, they run so nice. Um, anyways, five bucks. I should have gotten a lot more, but I realized I don't need that many motors. I already have like 10, you know, 10 in my storage. I don't need uh, 13. I don't have that many engines to remotor. But um, yeah, I just bought those because just for the hell of it. In hindsight, I could have gotten a few more. And I probably will next train show if I do go to New York, uh, New York again. Um, and the final thing in the unboxing, the one I'm sure everyone has been waiting for, is this. This is an NJCB, which is Custom Brass by NJ. Uh, Pennsylvania Railroad Q1 duplex, whatever. Um, it is a 4644, as you can see. Um, if a uh, little history, Santa F uh, Pennsylvania only had only made one ever Q1. It was streamlined, and then they deshrouded the front, the bullet nose. They removed the bullet nose and changed it to make it look like a Q2 later in life. But yeah, they only had one Q1 ever. Um, the difference between the Q1 and the Q2 is, first off, um, it is a 4644 instead of a 4464, which is what a Q2 is. And also, more importantly, as you can see, the rear drivers actually have the piston in the rear so this looks like more of a 4104 but in reality it's just a 4644 um and the rear driver having the the, the cylinders in the rear um 
made it look really weird because it looks like this driver is going this set of drivers is going backwards and these are going forward um i'll hopefully show a video of this thing in motion soon but this thing looks amazing when it's running and this thing is stunning absolutely stunning uh the front here as you can see the bullet nose with the keystone in the front uh the tender is decaled with pennsylvania decaling which is you know gold leaf so it looks really dim from any angle except if you look at shining under the light it, you can see the reflection this is some amazing decal work and the paint job overall is absolutely stunning you can see the the graphite on the smoke box here it's actually pretty subtle but it's pretty dark um but if you look closely it's definitely there a lot of, one complaint i had with a lot of manufacturers is, is that the graphite the color they use is too dark or too light uh graphite is actually very very dark so th they absolutely nailed it with this paint job i think it looks amazing and this thing obviously has the cordless motor the or sorry not a can motor um really smooth and silent drive njcb makes some amazing engines they just cost a lot um so I was, anyways, I digress. Uh, the in HO only two manufacturers has ever made the the Q the Q one in the bullet nose scheme. Uh, the NJCB has only made two hundred of those, and uh, Key Samhong Sabras has made I don't I don't remember I don't even remember it's like fifty to hundred, but in other words, there's only like you know two fifty to three hundred of Q ones in HO ever. No one else has ever made them, and I'm sure there's way more than three hundred and fifty people uh or 300 yeah 350 uh, 300 people who want a q1 in ho but now i am one of those lucky owners um and this thing is amazing i'm planning to install dcc sound in this as soon as i get back for christmas break um but for now it's just going to be sitting around and i am very excited about this engine I am going to probably, I'm going to, I actually didn't buy this for myself because I can't afford this because the price for this was $1,150. Um, the original owner wanted, as you can see here, 295 and I bargained him down to, I said, you know, 110 or 100, uh, 1,100 and then he bargained it down to, uh, he bargained it to uh, 1,200 and then I, we agreed on 1,150. So that is what I paid for this engine. Um... <laughs> unfortunately i'm not going to be keeping this i'm actually buying this for a friend um he he is i think the only owner the only um the only person i know who owns two P pennsylvania Railroad q2s he owns two broader limited q2s and uh, you should check out his channel his name is his channel is the florida and uh, the pennsylvania and florida eastern railroad um, I believe that is his YouTube channel, or I might have reversed that. I've kind of forgotten, I'm not going to lie, but he makes some really cool videos. He has a huge Pennsylvania fleet um, of especially big engines. If you know me, I like smaller Pennsylvania engines, but he likes the bigger stuff. So this is for him. I can't afford this, obviously. I, I would never be able to afford this, but he said that he'd be buying it. So I basically, I'm buying it for him, and I'm going to ship it down to him soon. But anyways, that is the final uh, unboxing video. I'm going to be keeping this for a little bit, at least. Um, and I'm, I really love this engine. I'm already, the, the, the engine's already growing on me. I love it so much. Um, but anyways, yeah, that is the unboxing video. A lot of good stuff. Um, what I meant in the beginning by this, this, you know, train show was a little bit disappointing was because this is my stuff. And as you can see, there was, all the engines were overpriced. The only things that were cheap, extremely cheap, in fact, were the past or the freight cars, uh, passenger cars and engines and everything like that were very, very overpriced and very expensive. So that is unfortunate. I didn't get any engines, uh, but I did get this thing and I'm very happy about this thing even though i'm not going to be keeping it i think this is an absolutely beautiful engine and i'm very excited i got this totally makes up for the fact that i didn't buy any engines for myself but anyways that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed um please let me know what you thought in the comments down below and uh, yeah i'll see you guys next time bye